Sup witches, uh, welcome to the tower. Um, I am getting a little tired of reading the same reading over and over again, right? Someone is so nosy about what someone's getting ready to do. And we're going to focus on why. Like, I get that there's someone who's about to get karmic justice and everything else like that. And those that are against this person, the people who are about to receive justice are super duper nosy right now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go dark right let's see what this negative person's up to what's going on in their lives who are they attached to who's this shit witch working with what's going on over here oh we got a scorpio right yeah these bitches like conflict you know these bitches right we all do you don't like cursing i'm sorry well, I'm not sorry, but, you know, it's just the habit I have. Anyway, what's going on with this chick? He knows this chick. <laughs> we all know this chick. This is somebody who has a lot of drama, likes to cause drama, likes to manipulate and use people. They usually get ahead even though you don't know how, right? Shit, which is that type of energy, right? Rings of communication out in the sun. There's been some cut-off energy going on here. That's why they're so nosy. They're so nosy because they're not getting all the information they used to get. That's why the tarot readings are coming out the way they are lately. They want to know what the divines are up to. So you can they can thwart their plans. Thwart. Am I saying that right? It's a very strange word. What are these... Shit, which is up to what's going on in their lives why are they so desperate why are they so hungry for information going on the divine why do they want their secrets spilled Oh, sorry, top line's funny. Top line's got the Emperor. You got the Ten of Swords and Eight of Cups reversed over here. You got the Five of Cups and Ten of Stars reversed here. I just get an Emperor that's, you know, there's definitely a mask. The Divine Masculine is trying to come out of victim mode. I feel like there's some past they don't want them to move on from. Let's get some more before we go any further. This is on the 5D right now. I just thought that was funny. Alright, 77 could be important, right? We got the 3D here. What's going on on the 3D, right? Somebody is watching. Right? We got the player energy here. This person's got a reputation for being a player. A liar. Right. This dark joker energy. This person likes to play a lot of games. Got the jack of swords feminine though, right? Like she's sitting on a hookah. <laughs> the fairy's sitting on a hookah anyway. And it's got this jack of swords. And I get this kind of overlooking energy going on. This person has a passion for it. Whoever this is, they have a passion for it, right? They're very good at portraying that, um, the illusion. This person is good at portraying the illusion of being whatever it is you need them to be. I'm getting that social chameleon, right? This person will find out what you like and then try to be that, right? Even copy people who you they think you'd like, right? They're really kind of dead inside. They're dead inside and they're kind of, I mean, they're watching. They could have a sharp tongue 
or they're very good at speaking. I mean, that's how they're able to do. They're very good with their tongue. Uh, there's another message that I'm getting. Sorry, it skewed me out a little bit. But they're good, like I said, they're good at using their tongue to create these illusions and things. They have a passion for it. They have a passion for it. It's fun. It's fun to them to lie and play these games. Right? On the 4D... Before I got this Queen of Cups here, right? Five of Wands, the Strength card, the Love card, and the Eight of Wands. Now that's reversed right now. I got this person stresses this Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups causes a lot of strife and conflict, right? She causes a lot of strength, strife and conflict. Why? Just by her strength, right? Just by her strength and her soul connections. Right? They got the reverse date of wands here. So this is, right? So this is the person that's shooting at all the time, right? You're shooting at this, spending all your energy, and I always talk about the hexing. That's what I'm talking about, shit which is here, right? It's like, yes, but you're the one that's spreading all oh, this. Is, these are the people that are shooting all these rods at this person, right? And this person's just returning it like love and light, peace to me, and hope you learn your lessons and heal, right? Be like, what? If I don't, if I don't react to you, then your energy can't affect me. I have to give it to you in some way, shape, or form, either by crying about it, whining about it, contacting you, stalking your Facebook. Look, I, I have to have the same hate or energy that you do in order for your negative castings to affect me. I mean, that's just how it goes. That's when people are like, hexes don't affect me. Yeah, no, hexes from strangers don't affect you, right? If you don't give a fuck about that person, then they can't affect you. If you don't, you know... That's, that's really what this person's strength comes from, right? I just get like this person's got, you know, they're, they're love-centered, which means what? They focus on love. They focus on that freaking rainbow energy. What? I'm not going to, they don't waste their time with that. You can't be worrying about whether this is affecting, I mean, this could be, the masculine that we've been picking up a lot here with this emperor in the middle, it could be Aries, right, energy, it could be a masculine, feminine, anyway, it's, this person is unburdened, the 5D is like, what, this person is unburdened by this, why, once again, but, you can focus on the past, or you can focus on the two of cups in front of you, the soul connections, right? Emperor sitting firm in this thing, what? I'm not, I'm not a victim, I'm not going to pretend to be a victim, I'm not going to wallow in victimhood like other people do, right? This is the, like, when, I, when this is this way, I call it the drama queen card, this is reversed. The 5D, right? The eight of cups reversed has me a little bit. Because we're reading on this energy, it's like, yeah, it's, uh, 
it's not that they, that's what's so confusing for me. It's like, it's not that they can't let go of the past. Is this person, the past won't let go of them. Right? That's what these shit bitches are. They're just the past and they're refusing to let go of this other person, right? This Knight of Cups. This person was very, very romantic, very sweet, and they just cannot let it go. They can't let it go from when it was good with this person. But, you know, I get that the, the Wheel of Fortune is not turning for them without them, right? Someone doesn't want the conflict anymore, right? It's like, what is this? Fuck it, you win. As if I get, I get, nobody wants, I'm getting Ace Ventura to die, nobody wants to play with me, and I feel like there's this Knight of Cups here that they're holding on to, and I feel like they're kind of trying to keep everybody stuck, but at the same time they're trying to like make it look like they're avoiding conflict. There's no victory in this. Someone's breaking from tradition, someone's finding balance, and someone's moving on. This reading is just weird. This person's breaking tradition. Yeah, that's why these shit witches are all up on them, right? This person is breaking from the tradition that they had stabilized with this person. And they're finding um, uh, balance through temperance. They're finding balance through balancing out, I feel like, their vices and things like that, right? And that's how they're separating their energy from this person. They're no longer engaging in the same vices that they used to with this person. They've cut them off from that type of energy. So that's why the shit witches are so fucking obsessed and they think it has to do... That they're finding someone to blame for these energies, but they're willing to curse both, right? Get this nine of stars reversed. There's like a toxic boundary here. I get this person is doesn't want they don't want any changes because they don't want to leave. They're financially bound to this person as well. There's something with money. Isn't that always how it goes? Always something with freaking money. Alright. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of like that. It's like, what, I, I need this person around because, what, they're always the person that loans me money or something along that way. Or you have some sort of weird deal with them around money. Like, you know, they help you out with this. Or, you know, like, that's the person I borrow 50 bucks from every month at the end of the month to pay a bill. And I don't pay them back till the mid-month next month. And if I were to cut off from them, then it would throw my whole bill routine off. That's the kind of weird energy I'm picking up here. These people are like financially connected somehow, right? What the snitches have to say real quick. What the snitches got to say. Movements happening. The snitches are noticing the change. Something's changed. Something's changed. There's space in between some things, right? The, ma uh, the magician is focused on building his ten of cups, building his team. Yeah, they've separated their energy from the toxic energies, right? They found some uh, balance. They're starting to pay attention to not how just where the grass is greener, but who's actually tending to their lawns. I don't know that's really specific. Or who's willing to help tend the lawns, right? King of Pentacles. They're not giving up that much control. They're like the Ten of Pentacles. I said that before, though. The King of Pentacles isn't a bad energy to be in. Yep, there's that temperance again. Balance. Yeah, pretty much. High Priestess. 
you know, th th they're just mad. <laughs> they're just bitter. They're just mad and bitter, and they like drama, and they miss it, and this person is cutting them off from it. This person is cutting them off from it, right? You get the fool here. You get the emperor again. You get the seven of cups, and we've got the hair font. Someone's being very, very clever about the game that they're playing right now, right? This is why I told you I keep, I keep getting the same reading over and over again. I'm not trying to bust out this clever person on their plans, right? Their plan really is just to get back to the queen of wands, the one that they want, right? Not the illusion. They're panting a little... <laughs> the one that they're guided to, the one that gives them strength, right? They're tired. They're tired of the shit witches, too. They're exhausted with them. And all they've done is just remove their energy. They, they, they're still, oh, they're I like, I, I don't want to, you know what, I don't want to, I don't want to. I don't want to wrap this person out any more than what they're doing. They're doing the right thing for themselves by cutting their energy off from these other people. And these other people, the reason that they're focused on the Divine Feminines is they think it's the Divine Feminine's fault that these people are cutting them off. And it's like, no, it's not the Divine Feminine's fault, it's your fault. Right? Divine Feminine just did what was best for her. The Divine Masculine is just doing what's best for him. You know, and y'all just bitter bitches is you're not worried about doing what's best for you you're just worried about sabotaging somebody else all right here we go the dog ten of hearts hold it for a second before you can see it Trust, loyalty, friends, and dependability. In the elephant and the dog, the sultan's elephant stopped eating when his loyal companion was taken away. The sultan is very upset when his favorite pachyderm nearly dies without his canine companion. No, no one understood the nature of the support the dog gave his jumbo friend. But the dog returned just in time and here we see the dog and the elephant sharing a meal in a jeweled bowl the elephant reaches to reassure himself that his world is right again he eats with the dog because he feels safe dog proved himself to be a trust trustworthy reliable companion and even when he was tossed aside by others the dog card is someone you can count on when things get rough if you have a difficult, if you have difficult cards close to this one, close to this dog, is the one, oh, the dog is the one to look for for help. Trust is the key quality to this card. A nearby person card signifies someone you have a comfortable, sustaining friendship with. Like the dog, they will always have your best interests at heart. The dog is shown in the Indian pariah, a dog that was given a curly tail. To resemble Iron's beloved Bassanine companion. I have no idea what all that means. It's an old thing at the end. Yeah. It's like what? It's like in the end, these everybody's <laughs> but focus on the people who are genuinely loyal to you and have your best interests at heart. You know, it's like people who have your best will call you out on your bullshit, but they'll still be there when you need them, right? Type of energy. They don't withhold their help because of certain things and stuff like that. They don't judge you for your decisions. Like they'll call you an asshole for your decisions, but they'll still be there and the next day being like, Yeah, how'd that work out for you? Oh, it sucked, didn't it? Well, you know you know, it is what it is now, you know, they don't want to be the whole I told you so and da 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 they don't try to force you to change your mind on it. They're just like, Alright, well I mean, this is my opinion on it, but go ahead and do what you're going to do. See how it works out for you. Those are good friends. People who are trying to manipulate you. People who are like, well, if you make that decision, I'll never talk to you. We get it. Ultimatums and things like that. That's just toxic and nasty, and nobody likes playing those games. That's about the gossiping and lying and things of that nature. Nobody likes that either. Get a couple oracle cards. Yeah. Winter solstice. It's a time of reflection right now. Wow. 
Black flower fragrance. These bitches need to take a long look in the mirror in the reflection in the reflection and see how they are sabotaging themselves by projecting this toxic energy. Like I said, black flower fragrance. I mean that's the definition of the shit witch right there. But you can't manifest toxic energy through you, cause chaos and strife for others. Be cruel and not act from your heart center, but act from the vengeful place and think that people aren't gonna notice that energy wafting off you. It's like playing with fire and expecting not to smell like smoke. Right? It is a time of reflection. And it is a time of reflection for everybody here is remember when you engage with these energies, when you play with these energies, you also to um pick up some of that scent on you as well. So it is a time to what? Take some self reflection because the more something bothers you, the more it's pointing out something within you that you need to heal. And it's a time of cooling off and reflecting. And for real, for real, if anything else, do a freezer spell to block these energies off of you. All right. Blessed be all those who walk these weird mining paths with me. I'll be back as soon as I can, I promise.